Hello everybody and welcome back to Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. As always, I am Dor and today we're going to go ahead and try and take over Zelaniv. Um, in between episodes, I went ahead and finished off that building, or the uh, the buildings in that town. So now we have 110 10 people sitting in that uh, in the town. It kind of is working for, for people not to be attacking it, but I did already have 110 in there and then it was attacked and then I was down to like 40 people. Uh, so I had to refill it. Uh, but since I've refilled it, it hasn't had any attacks on it anymore, so I don't, I don't know, I think we're good. Uh, this place only has one big bubble and three flags. Uh, let's see here, how do we want to go about this? Let's go ahead and get our people up on the hillside here. Uh, these guys are all low rank as well. Actually, do I want to spawn them in? Because I, I kind of want to, uh, I want to have them take over this town, or have them sitting in this town. If we're able to take it over. And this is something that keeps happening here. I, I can't actually move them while they're in the bubble. Or period in this beginning bit. I have to like let them spawn in. And then I can set them into their little. Uh, into their little. Uh, oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Into their, their little tracks I wanted them to run on. So let's go ahead and get these guys up here on the hillside with us. Nope. I don't want you cutting across like that. Oh. Uh, clear white point, please. Let's have them go this way and then work their way up. So they have some, some li a little bit of cover going up. Let's have these guys do the same. Boop. And boop. Something like here-ish. We'll probably adjust that in a second. I'm going to try and push the top of that hill because it, we got the sniper rifle. So we'll have an angle on them at least. So there's 75 people, no reinforcements coming in. Great news for us. Uh, in between episodes here, I've had the glitch happen several times now where um, the people don't show up on the map. I, I wander around the map and nobody's on it. Uh, nobody fires at me, so I end up having to leave. Um, we've lost uh, not not too, too much cash because you do lose cash when you leave the, the, uh, the battle. Um... I've had that happen. I've lost uh, the notoriety or whatever it is in this game, this game mode. I don't think that matters, though, in this game mode. Um, the, oh, what is it called? Respect or something? I forget. Lo loyalty? I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, but we've lost a little bit of that. But again, I don't think it really matters in this game mode because we can't, as far as I can tell, we can't be buddy-buddies with people. We can't, um, we can't make them... Um, like our trading friends, we have to take over the towns to be able to trade between them. Uh, we can't just send stuff to another town uh, like we can in the normal game mode if we weren't playing the challenge mode here. Uh, boop. So yeah, we, we we need to go ahead and start making making some progress here, taking towns over. Um, I realized what I was doing wrong with the, uh, the, the troops not spawning back in. So it's 24 hours from the time you purchase them. So I was buying them all throughout the day. I wasn't exactly buying them at midnight, so every day at midnight it would respawn, right? So um, that's why that's why the towns and the little villages were, or the town that I have and the little villages weren't spawning people back in, uh, because it wasn't the full 24 hours yet for them to spawn back in. Um, that's also why the uh, the merchants and stuff aren't resetting. I think that resets on a 24 hour time frame as well. Uh, that sounds close. Because it is close. Ooh. Go away, please. Go away, please. Uh, so hopefully we, we are able to get this thing up and running a little bit quicker as well in this town. Um, we have a bunch of iron in the other town. We don't have a whole lot of wood or a whole lot of... A whole lot of... Um, tools or, or wood in the other town. We have a ton of iron. And I also, I might start using something else other than a sniper rifle. I feel like this might not be the uh, funnest thing to watch. But uh, it's just like the safest the safest thing I can do here, right? Without dying over and over again. As I, I say that, I'm about to die. Oh, I totally forgot. I also have a um, nope, that was terrible. Um, I also have a silencer on my rifle now. That's why it's so quiet. Um, I totally spaced out on that fact. Uh, did we lose anybody? We lost one person, but they're only injured. Oh, you know what? No, 
this squad lost three people, I think. Let's go and spawn these guys in. And those guys, um, we'll leave that alone. Can I move them now? I can. Let's go ahead and move them up the hillside. Um, I actually don't want them all grouped in together because that's going to be bad news. We did lose a bunch of people to that one grenade, so let's try and avoid that again if we can. Let's get these guys a little further down. Let's get those guys there. These guys can go ahead and hold this little section. Let's move them up so they can get there quicker. Move ourselves up, and let's go here. Cool. Uh, that guy didn't have an arm for a second. So let's give this another go here. Uh, we have 59 people left out of 75. We didn't really make too big of a dent here. Um, they just pushed up that hillside, and I should have moved. But um, if I would have moved, my guys probably all would have gotten killed there. So I'm not too worried about pulling, or not too worried about having the reset here. Um, but we should be able to make a dent. Hopefully, a little bit better of a dent. Let's see. Can we see anybody wiggling in around? There's some dudes there. Let's go that. And that. Nope, that was over. Oop. That was over again. Uh, what I might end up doing too, I totally forgot about it as well, but I might end up uh, just skipping over night battles completely now. Um, it, it's 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 bad enough me, me trying to... Uh, to shoot people at nighttime, but it's it's just not it's not great. Um, I might do them again when we eventually find some night vision goggles, but until then, I don't think I'm gonna be doing night fights. I'm gonna try and avoid them as much as I can, and then just try and not fight people at nighttime. Oh, that guy was full sprinting. I shouldn't have aimed that low. Uh, that looked like a headshot, but. I guess he was getting up as I shot, so it just went through him. Are they pushing up the hillside again? They are pushing up the hillside again. We need to uh, we need to go ahead and stop that as fast as we can here. Do we got any more down below us? Anybody pushing the hillside already? No. So that one person was the only person pushing. Not too bad. Get rid of that person too. We didn't kill him. Bye. Bye. Um, I want to go ahead and get an RPG as well, but I think what I'm going to end up running uh, soon, I'm just dumping points into it right now so that at least when I start using it, it's not it's not bad. Um, the assault rifle is fully maxed out on the uh, skill tree, but it's still not really all that great. I think it takes like three or four rounds to kill somebody, as long as I can actually aim. Um, a minute ago, it wasn't exactly the best, the best uh, display of it, because I can't. I can't really use iron sights in any game. It's not just this one. Um, I just prefer not to be using them. Oops, I didn't want to hit that button. Uh, but as long as they, they just chill out, they're not pushing up the hill anymore. They're really not They're not really moving out of that area either. And we can just sit here and just pick them off, which is kind of why I prefer sniping, to be honest, because it's just, unless you're getting pushed, you're really not going to die, and you can just rank your army up really quick, and you can just keep just picking people off. Um, it's kind of kind of my my jam. Get rid of that guy too. Let's see. Uh, one thing I wouldn't mind about this game if it didn't um, if the aiming wasn't toggle, because that that kind of gets me killed every now and again. Trying to to run and my gun just decides it wants to aim back down sights after rechambering, and it 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 leads to it leads to problems sometimes. If I could hit the guy, thank you. Um, I think we got to move in because I don't see any more people. Is that a grenade? Uh, there's my dead people. They went down the hillside a little bit. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got more coming out of that little area. I just threaded the needle between both of them. That was pretty cool. Uh, you can go ahead and die. Thank you. You can die. Nope, I missed feel like Oprah. You can die, and you can die, and you can die. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna scoot our guys down there. There's still 30 of them left, which might cause some issues, but uh, we might even just try and weave our way in and just take the flags, uh, kind of depending on where these these enemies are stationed at. So we're not 
if I could just okay that that little pole is a little fatter than it looks like okay so let's uh, let's go this way let's get these guys let's get these guys to come over here oh that's not the button uh, let's get them to go back down the hillside and then spread out a little bit on this hill's top like so that should work uh, let's take a look over there again we got a guy on the back side he went around the wall okay so I'm gonna follow them over there we might get a little bit of a better angle to uh, start picking them off again still another 30 um, let's see if we can hit that there we go. Uh, the reason I also haven't upgraded the sniper, right? We we won. We don't have any money to buy it. I think it's like thirty six thousand to buy it. Uh, but we're also we also need to be level thirteen in our uh, marksmanship, and we're only level ten. I haven't been putting points into marksmanship because I figured the other stuff is a little more important. Uh, this gun's kind of doing its job. It's not it's not terrible. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's also just it's. I mean, as long as I'm hitting headshots, I'm not having any issues. And it's only, I think, two shots to kill somebody, even if I don't hit them in the head. So it's not uh, it's not the end of the world. Let's get this guy, too. Uh, boop. Thank you. Anybody else on the road that I see? No. Okay, let's keep going here. Um, let me do this really quick. Screenshot. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, there's only a two-man difference, so we're, 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 we've closed the gap there. It's not too, too far off now. Uh, can we see anybody here? No, this is not as good as I thought it would be because there's a tree there. And if we've known anything in this game, it's that you can't shoot through trees. And I feel like that just went left. Thank you. Can we hit this one too? There we go. Okay, is that the last grouping of them? All the way over there, maybe? There might be some more people where we were just killing people at, but we can't see them, so that means they can't see us. Even if they can, they can't shoot us through the tree, so we're uh, we're in a little safe spot. Also, it seems like there's that person was glitching out. Uh, boop. And boop. Boop. Okay, so I think, I think this might also... Uh, we'll actually see here in a second. This is only a few minutes here. Um, but we might also um, start start the construction of these buildings, right, before we, we take off. Because it seems like we're going to be able to capture this. As long as we don't die again, uh, we should be able to capture this. That guy's dead. Anybody over here that we can pick off? Mm, no. Okay. Well, we got more people there. And... Boop. Boop. There we go. Let's see. Anybody else off in the distance? Is that a guy in the house? Sure looks like it. Can I not shoot through that window? Uh, One more time here. Yep. No, I can't shoot through the window. Okay. Only took a couple shots to figure that one out. Who's shooting? You're shooting. Okay. Oops. That guy's dead. That guy's dead. No, he's not dead. That's dead. Is that a guy? That is a guy. Hello. Goodbye. Enemy squad's fleeing, which is great news for us. Um, can we catch any of them? Let me just see here. Are they on the map yet? No, a minute. A minute out from being on the map okay so you know what we can do we can go ahead and just have mm, actually can we see any of them running on the hillside away from us no okay you know what we'll do this we'll uh, we'll have a move in on this thing we'll go in with them and hopefully we die before they die so we don't lose too many people uh, worst case scenario here, but I'd rather I'd rather uh, fail the 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 attack here than to have to uh, to go wander around the map trying to find more troops. Uh, oops, let's see here. So it said they're fleeing. Oh, there's only one person left too. I didn't even realize that. My uh, 
my uh my mic my mic arm is covering the uh the numbers there. So yeah, we we're not gonna see them. I don't know where that guy went. In three seconds we'll know, but until then we won't. Uh let's see. It said he was fleeing. He's right here in this building. Let's go get him real quick. He was not in a building, he was right next to us. He was just letting us capture the flag. Wow. The AI in this game is uh is is fleshed out. Um yeah, I I I think I said this in like the first episode or a couple of episodes ago. But uh I played this game when it when it first came out. Do we want anything else here? I don't think we do. Uh let's just take all the stuff that we can. It's kind of expensive stuff we can just turn around and sell. Uh but yeah, I, I played this game when it first came out. Or not first came out, but I played it in like 2018, 2019 when it was uh I think when I when I found it. And it wasn't this broken, man. Like uh there used to be trucks, right, to get you around the map instead of the uh the speed up walk around button, which is why, unless you switch it, I think, but like I don't know. It's just it, this game is 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 dicey. Oh, we got a person an unkillable character we can buy. Uh, let's see. What can I do for you? Can you join? Uh, I'm not made for war, but I really hope to travel. Blah blah. Do do do. I believe you're suitable. Requires re 50 relationship. Ah, what is this? Uh, this thing. No, not that thing. No, not that thing either. This thing. This has stuff I can buy. Oh, does she tell me what she likes though? Let's see here. Uh, let's see. What's your story? Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Okay. Don't care. Uh, that, that increased the the thingy, my bobber. Actually, does it tell me what she likes? Do 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 do. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't want her to sit there and read that. Uh, let's just give her a dress. Maybe no, maybe yeah. Let's give her hmm, yeah. Let's try let's try that. Let's give her a dress. Uh, maybe she likes it. Maybe she doesn't. Uh, do we have anything we can get rid of? Maybe, but not right now. Let's go back to this guy. This thing join. Nope. Run button. Something for you. Take the dress. It decreased by five percent. Okay, so she doesn't want dresses. Okay, my bad. Uh, I figured when she said she didn't want to go to war that she wanted a dress, but no, she does not want a dress. Okay, my bad. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and empty out our inventory here, and we'll go ahead. Ooh. Uh, this gun right here, the SR100, the uh, the black market guy has it, and it does 120, 125 damage instead of the 105 that this thing has. It's also another, I think, 8,000 on top of this thing, so... Uh, we'll probably end up getting that one over this this one in this building here. Uh, what are you rifle silencer? Cool. Uh, yeah, let me let me go ahead and sell all my stuff here and wiggle around my troops and fill up the uh, garrison here. So uh, before we go ahead and start moving around the map and trying to get some more money because we are completely broke again, we have a thousand dollars to our name. Uh, a little quick thing we can do if we don't want to arrange the troops in a certain way, like we don't want to we don't. We want snipers and machine gun guys, or we want like SMG guys and assault rifle guys, or something like that. Uh, if we don't care about doing that, which is kind of the way I feel about the uh, the city defense stuff, we just hit this button here to auto group, and it'll just throw whatever troops you have in this little area here into the uh, the squad thing, and then you can just get through it like that quicker. Uh, pretty nice, pretty, pretty. It comes in handy. So let's go and dump all these guys back in here. So we have 47 out of 60 people in our our city here we need to go find some wood and we need to go find some tools um we have plenty of iron over at the other place it's just we don't have very much uh very much uh, uh wood or or the other stuff i thought i could um i thought i could uh trade between towns here am i missing something here trade talk to bartender do 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 Buildings, prison, barracks, garrison. Uh, is it a specific building I need? Or are they just not happy enough because we just took the town? Maybe that's the issue. Um, let me go ahead and do this. We're going to upgrade our leadership again. That allows us to carry more people with us. 
and we're going to go ahead and hit uh, the instructor that gives the troops in our our thing more XP per battle, which is pretty good. So we're going to keep doing that one for a little while here. Uh, I'm upgrading the the machine gun and launcher thing so that we can we can uh, use one of those when we eventually find one. Uh, we need to go fight some people. Let's see. We don't have any more troops, right? We just dumped them all in there. Yeah, we have 117 slots. We need a lot of money. So whose town was this a second ago? It was these guys, right? Extremely dangerous, extremely dangerous. 14 people, 28 people, or 29 people. Uh, these guys are seven. You know what? We're going to go ahead and fight these guys. We're good on health. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and just start fighting a bunch of people. We're going to generate some cash. And we should be able to go ahead and head uh, to the top right of the map. Because we haven't hit that spot up yet. And as long as we can avoid getting into fights up there, we can go ahead and buy a whole bunch of troops. Uh, hopefully as, as we have a bunch of money at hand. But uh, we, need to, we need to win some fights here to get some cash going. Um, and then try and figure out why that town doesn't let us trade really quick as well. Um, I don't know what a good place is for wood. I might have to pull up my little cheat sheet that I made and see where uh, where some wood is. Man, this place is covered in trees. I don't like it, especially since the trees are, like, bulletproof. Uh, boop. Oh, I tried to get a double there. That would have been cool. I don't know if you can even get a double in this game. Uh, boop. We're just gonna we're gonna try and make quick work of these guys, and we we're gonna move to a different town here and try and uh, not not another town like take over a town, but uh one of the ooh, okay no 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 we're gonna try and uh, if we if we die right now because we have no troops and nobody on the map with us we uh, we lose money because they take us captive and we have to pay whatever they want so uh, it doesn't it does it also hurts that we don't have any money so if they if they manage to pull that off is that a guy right on the tree with us. Uh, if they manage to pull that off, then we're kind of boned because it's going to put us in jail again until we're able to pay whatever they want or until the uh, the timer runs out, which I think is a full 12 hours, I think. Which is not uh, not really fun to have happen consistently. Let's get this guy. Ooh, I missed him. He ducked right as I shot. Sneaky, sneaky. Uh, doo -doo -doo. You're the guy shooting at us. Let's see here. We got more people on the right of us, but we have trees and we have a little hill to our side, so I'm not too worried about those guys getting the uh, angle on us just yet. I'm sure I'll probably regret that, regret that in a second. Go away, please. Uh, what do we got? 14 people left. Um, our armor. Uh, something I noticed, I didn't realize it, but the armor right down the bottom right, uh, the little numbers, I have 37 chest and 26 head. Uh, our helmet those actually go away as you start getting shot. So, like, if we take enough damage here, um, a, mo a moment ago before I started the episode, the um, the chest piece completely broke. So I didn't realize that was a thing that happened. I thought we just had, like, really good armor the entire time we're fighting. Uh, but no, I, I, I totally spaced out and didn't even see that thing disappearing like that. Uh, let's see. I don't remember. I think we start off with 60 chest because our, our armor piece is 60, but... Could be wrong about that. If I could just hit this guy. Holy smokes. I hit him, but I didn't kill him. Go away. Go away. I missed again. There's somebody right here shooting at us. Where's that happening at? This guy. Being a little rock monster. Go away. Let's see here. What do we have? Nine people left. Making pretty quick work of this. It's not the worst. Um, it, it helps tremendously that it's daytime and I can see what I'm doing and see them as they're moving around. <laughs> it's pretty great. Uh, boop. Go boop. There we go. Okay. So let's see. Seven people left. One guy there. Cool. Cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and move in a little bit. Get our AK back out. Let's take out the last of these guys with this. Uh, I don't know how we change fire rate. I think that's in the controls somewhere, but I don't use it enough to to really worry about it all that much. Okay, that guy's dead. There's another guy to our right. Let's see if we can find him. I need to throw a, a red dot or something on this thing as well. That guy's dead. What are we at? 167. I'm going to pull back. 
because we are we are losing health pretty quick there. Uh, our our chest piece is also down to six instead of the thirty seven it was just at, so we lost thirty one uh, thirty one armor there, which is kind of why we started getting the damage output that they were getting. Um, the smoke grenades. I don't know if this is coming across in the video either, but the smoke grenades are are an absolute FPS killer for me. Um, I don't know what's going on with those. Where's that last guy at? Hello? Shoot at me. Thank you. Oh, that would have been cool if I hit that. There we go. So, that wasn't too bad. That was like two minutes. Eh, like five minutes of shooting at people. Let's take these things that are important. Those are important. Uh, do we want any of that stuff? I don't think we do. But we'll go ahead and do this because that's going to give us a bunch of stuff that we can just turn around and sell. So, uh... We'll actually be able to make some money here. Let's go back to our town. Um, let's go merchant. Let's go ahead and sell all the junk. Get rid of these things as well. Uh, how much money? He has 72000 so we're fine selling all that stuff. It's no big deal. Get rid of these things, that thing, that thing. Cool beans. Another thirty or 30000 would have been cool, but 11000 is fine. And let's go, let's go try and find some uh, wood. All right, so I went ahead and traveled on over to Deniv here. Uh, this, according to my little cheat sheet that I made, like one of the last times I played this game, uh, is the place where the wood is discounted. So $86 a piece of wood. Uh, so we can actually buy a couple of these, right? Six eighty-eight. We don't have enough for that. Let's go ahead and sell him some ammo. Uh, we don't need all this ammo or those. Anything else? Cool. So let's go ahead and buy all his wood. Uh, maybe not all his wood, but enough of it. That should hold us over. That's going to, uh, I think, let us build one, maybe both of the uh, garrison upgrades. I think. Uh, yeah, we should be good. Uh, I'm going to work my way back across the map here. We are we are literally broke broken now because we only have, we only have $58 to our name. Um, are our towns ready for, for things? Yeah, we have 10,000 waiting there and 17,000 waiting here. So we have cash again. We just need to get back over there without getting... Uh, without getting uh, stomped on here. All right, well, uh, we should have enough to do one of these at least. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do the, the same thing we did on the other town, right? We're going to go ahead and go in on the garrison so we can actually fill in the squ uh, the thing a little bit. Uh, I think we're going to do all three of these as well. These increase the security level. Those are going to come in handy as well. And where is the, the garrison upgrade? Uh, this one gives us 50... Do we already have the other one, or do we have to do this one to unlock the other one? I think we have to do this one. Unless we have the other one already, which could be the th Yeah, we, we have one already. Garrison Camp is already installed on this town when we got it. So all we have to do is this one. So that, that's going to save us some, in, uh, some money and some resources, at least. Um, and then let's go ahead and do... Boop. Uh, let's see. What does this do? Increase agriculture. Increase agriculture. Uh, yeah. Let's just do this one, I guess. The uh, the increase security level. Let's do that, so that we can have some stuff. Uh, let's do this one as well. This is gonna uh, add some tier two troops into our thing, I think, or a tier one guy. Or yeah, it should be tier two guys, right? So that's that's all our money again. But with that money, that was just taxes that we just used right there. We didn't use any actual like fighting money. Or anything we got off of the people, so that was that was pretty sweet there. Uh, let's go ahead and don't I have some more troops? No, I don't. I have these eight. I'm gonna hold on to these eight just for a second, so we can actually uh, rank them up a little bit before we shove them in this town. Uh, but I went ahead and missed this screen, right? This is how we trade between towns. Um, so we have this one and we have that town over there. If I can rotate my camera, um, we have the uh, Zeliniv and Zinkov. So if we trade from the town we're at right now, uh, it's not really going to be too great for us. Uh, one wants pottery and the other one wants uh, linen, I believe. So we could... Uh, 16, 41. We could just trade fish between the two. Uh, <laughs> that might not... Uh, might not be a bad idea, right? Since we have it. Let's trade fish between the two of them, right? Um, 
I don't know if that's going to do anything. Because uh, they both have they both have the factories to be making the canned fish or the fish things that we're selling there. Uh, this guy here produces uh, dried fish, and that's what we're going to be trading between the two. So we'll see if that actually helps and generates money uh, or like another couple grand or something. But uh, another thing that I'm going to go ahead and do uh, in between episodes, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna fill in this garrison, and I'm gonna get ready because next episode. Next episode, we're either taking Aber or we're taking Mer Merni. Um, we're we're taking one of these towns. I want to. I'm probably going to go with Aber, just so we have this little corner of the map, and then I'll try and fortify these three towns as much as I can before we move on. And then we'll we'll go ahead and hit Merni, and and begin our our takeover. Maybe maybe we'll go across right here to these two guys after that, and then start working our way across. Uh, in a line going, going down the map here, because th th this side of the map is where all the towns are. They're more, they're more close together. Over here, they're they're kind of. Oh, there's actually two more towns behind these two guys. So yeah, maybe we'll go across the water after we take these next two towns, or we'll stay on this side of the map and take over this whole section before we move move across it. Uh, but for right now, that's gonna go ahead and be it for today's episode. Um, we went ahead and took over Zeliniv, Zeliniv, and uh, set up a trade route. Uh, upgraded some more of the uh, in internals of the town here. Uh, let's go ahead and encourage business. That's going to make some people happy, and we'll start making, I think, more money. I'm not sure exactly what the policies do, but uh, nonetheless, that's going to go ahead and be it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed as always, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.